the number one question that everybody asks, like when you tell someone that you live in a van, it's like, they uh, obviously they feel bad for you is first, that's the reaction. And you're like, please don't feel bad for me. But then the second, or, and then the uh, second thing is, um, it's like, where do you poop? We have Mike from Mr. Loss Bike Shop. What's going on, Mike? How's it going, Mo Awesome? How are you? And uh, we're here doing a quick little van tour. Sarah, do you want to tell us a little bit about your Sprinter? Yeah. It's a Sprinter, right? It's a Sprinter van, yeah. It's a 2004. It's red. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's kind of like my dream van. I lived in a van before I had like a, a Kano line and I wasn't super comfortable because I couldn't stand up, but it was super good to kind of get my bearings going. Um, and I kind of learned like what I wanted and what I didn't need in a van. So it was kind of a cool learning experience. So this van is like a culmination of the past few years. We've built a few uh, vehicles um, that you can live in. And so this is kind of all of my learning from the past couple years. So I think it turned out pretty good. Um, so yeah, in the back, it, like when I bought this thing, it was literally completely empty. So I built it up from scratch. I built everything myself. Um, so here's my garage and uh, yeah, so you can fit two bikes back here that are uh, um, kind of locked in um, and mounted to the ground But then if you really wanted to you could probably squeeze like four bikes back here All the wheels go over here and like this waterproof tray so when it's wet they drain down there put all my wet stuff in there um, I got my water tank back there and a water pump so I have running water um, Is this an air compressor? Uh, no, that's a, this. So this is a hose. Ah, um, it's just hooked up to the water pump. So it, it's pretty wet and muddy out here all the time. So if I'm riding and I like need to spray my bike down, I just take that. Or if it's hot in the summer, um, I pretty much just take a shower with this thing. So um, yeah, it, turns, it works pretty nice. So and how this is basically just a wall, wooden wall, or yeah. So this is a wooden, or obviously yeah. So um, what I wanted to do is I wanted to wall this off so that the um, garage area was completely separate from the bed and like the living space. And also the main plan with, uh, with the upper part was, um, we, so I own a bike shop and I wanted to have a lot of tools with me. So I needed a place where they were all kind of like easy and, to get to. Um, and since we used to be a mobile bike shop, I kind of knew how to mount all the tools um, and have them really uh, easy to access and ready to grab and go. Um, so we had this very similar setup like this in our mobile bike shop. So I pretty much just took that idea and took it up, uh, or I took that idea and I put it in the back of the van here. So um, these are pretty much all the things that you're going to need when you're on the road. Um, and kind of in storage, I have things like bleed kits and uh, spare parts and stuff. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Like right here, um, all the batteries are in here. Uh, I got some jumper cables and the fuses are all in here. So all the electrical stuff goes into the, this uh, space down here. OSHA approved. It's, um, yeah, you know, if it starts on fire, they'd approve of the fire for sure. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and then, yeah, so I have lights in here. I'm just kind of working on them so they're not on right now. But, uh, and then I can mount skis up there and I could put a ton of stuff on this shelf here and all the stuff's waterproofed. So um, if it does uh, drain from like my gear, if my helmet or my knee pads are wet, then it doesn't spread everywhere and make everything like moldy or messy. So um, yeah, it's pretty, it's all pretty waterproof back here. This headlight or this uh, um, brake light doesn't work. So uh, that's a little, little <laughs> that's a, character. That's a good feature. Yeah, so you need a little <laughs> character. Um, and then, oh yeah, right here on the door, uh, I have a work stand. So if I'm working on a bike, you can obviously, um, clamp it right in there so yeah and then I got a little magnet strip right here so then when you're using stuff you can just uh, put the tools right here so you don't have to walk back and forth all the time so I just did my best to make everything as easy as it could be when you're like got a broken bike um, and uh, you're on the road and you're just trying to get things fixed so Rad. and you put those windows in yourself uh, yeah so when I bought it, it had no windows in it so it was completely uh, bare van shell and uh, I just wanted windows after a while, or I didn't actually want windows at first because I wanted it to just be really stealthy, um, and I didn't really care if like light came in or not at the beginning. But after a while, like it was pretty dark, and uh, I didn't really care about like privacy and security. Like I just thought, you know, whatever. So um, I ended up putting windows in. So that was kind of a pain in the butt because I had to like cut through the wall and stuff in the inside that I already had built. Um, but they slide open, and it's been nice getting like more airflow. So um, it stays cooler in the summer. Uh, and yeah, I just have little like insulated um, covers that I can put in there to keep it warm. And so what do we got going on inside here? Besides, by the way, you guys, that's really low. You can hit your head on it. I've already done it. We're not going to do yeah. it again. 
So I actually built that. So if the robbers <laughs> come in, they hit their head and they not get knocked out. Um, let's see. So got a bunch of ceiling lights. It's kind of dirty right now. It's kind of always dirty. So uh, I keep my try my best to keep it clean. Mo is crouching right now because <laughs> yeah. he cannot fit in here. Um, so ceiling lights, I got lights underneath there for cooking. I got a light in the back. So if I'm like uh, reading, I don't actually read. But <laughs> <laughs> so if I'm doing something in bed, like, you know, uh, on the laptop or like something like that, I got light back there. Um, I got all my overhead storage up here. So I just have food in here. Um, everything's got magnets on it. This just has dishes. This has the basics. I keep a lot of my food in mason jars because it's really easy to um, keep organized. And also oh. that I don't have as much waste. I like to buy in bulk. So those are magnets that are keeping it shut. Yeah. So things aren't bouncing around. Uh -huh. um, and then, I don't know, a bunch of just, everything's a lot of storage. So down here, this just folds up. I got propane uh, down here for the cooktop. And then I just keep like bigger clothes and stuff down here. Honestly, I have way too much storage room. There's not much in all of these uh, cupboards. So um, for cooking here, honestly, like the big, the biggest thing that I wanted to do for this van was make sure I had like tons of space for cooking. Because uh, when I lived in my other van, I didn't really cook that much because it was like small and kind of annoying to like cook when you were like on your knees or sitting in like a lawn chair. Uh, so I wanted like the biggest possible cooking space. So I made everything very right angled so it has a lot of useful space. Um, so I cook here, keep fruit and stuff in here in the bin. Um, and, what is this made out of? Uh, this, is, the counter. Uh, this is stainless steel. Um, I wanted it to stay as clean as it possibly could and just... Uh, um, I didn't want to use wood because then I would have had to use like a stain on it and I didn't want to have to deal with like food safe stains and whatnot and it just looked really nice and I put an edge piece here so um, you drop things a lot so if I like drop a potato and it, it doesn't want to like roll off because when you're parking your van it's not always level so I put that there and that's been like probably one of the, my favorite things about the van is this one piece of little metal on the um, cooktop so a two burner stove just uses propane uh, boils water really quick and just cooks really quick it's got a Pretty big flame. Um, got a little sink here, so just got a cover here for it, um, so I can put stuff on top of it. Got running water, and I got a um, switch for the pump right here. And uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny. I put that in there so if I had a leak or something, uh, then I can turn the hit the switch and turn it off, so the it's just not just like pumping out water. And it's funny because this same thing or the reason that I put that in there that actually happened to Mo and Hannah the other night. <laughs> and, they had a leak or something, and so the the water was just running on the pump, and he was trying to pull the fuse out. There's just like water everywhere, so so we're gonna put one of those. So they're in. gonna put one of those in there, yeah. So um, let's see. So I just got like a bunch of drawers down here, um, top. Uh, all this stuff's pretty screwed down. Some things kind of roll around, but not too bad. Um, knives, like utensils. I don't actually know where they all are. I think they're at the shop right now, <laughs> but uh, that's all screwed down, so it doesn't move. I just got like toiletries and uh, pots and pans in here. Uh, this is kind of like sock and underwear. And this is a junk drawer. You obviously need to have a junk drawer no matter what. And then down here, just more like food stuff, like bigger like pasta and like a strainer and extra paper towels and stuff. And then down here um, is my fridge. It pulls out. Um, one of the things is broken right now, so it's bungee corded. Or one of the sliders is broken, so it's bungee corded. But uh, I don't really feel like opening that right now. But trust me, there's a fridge in there. Uh, Just two questions. So that's yeah. a 12 volt fridge. Yeah, it's a so it's a 12 volt fridge. Um, it just runs on 12 volt. It's not like three way. It doesn't run on propane or anything else. Um, but it's super efficient. And then I went with a top loader, um, just like in Moe's van, because uh, the cold air will stay down. So when you open it, um, if you have like a front facing fridge, like you would in like like a, like a dorm fridge or something, um, every time you open the door, all of the cold air spills out, and it's not as efficient. So Every time you have like any electronic device in a van, uh, you're going to want it to be as efficient as possible uh, because you are running all of your electro generally you're running all of your electricity off of solar and also from the engine when it's running via a switch. But um, anyway, if it's like cold and I'm using the heater uh, and I'm using and I'm charging my laptop and I'm using the lights and uh, I'm running the fan and, and all my electronics, you know, I want to have as much power as possible. So everything's super efficient. And is there a freezer on it? Uh, there is a free freezer, yeah, on one side it's a freezer. I don't really use it that often because I don't really eat um, frozen food too much. Like all my vegetables I buy like uh, fresh and um, whatnot, so I don't really have anything frozen. Plus if I had a freezer then I'm going to eat a ton of ice cream and <laughs> I'll just like, I'm just going to like save my body. <laughs> just try to save my body and not have ice cream in the van at all times because uh, 
I'd eat a lot of it, so. And uh, the water for the sink, that's mm -hmm. coming off of that water tank that we saw back there. Exactly, yeah, water tank in the back, it's uh, 17 gallons. Um, I could have gone bigger, but I actually had that tank spare. So uh, I probably could have done like 30 gallons, but 17 gallons lasts me a while. Like um, if I was like living off of it every day, um, I would probably need to fill it up maybe like once every week or two. Um, but yeah, it does the job great, especially if I'm like sparingly with water. And I don't drink out of it. I have like down here, I have like a, um, water that I get from the, uh, like a filter. Um, I got a pee jug. <laughs> pee jugs down there. Very important. Got all my gray water's down there. I just pull it out and dump it out. Um, and now all this electricity, how much battery power do you have? I have about 550 amp hours, so quite a bit. Um, and I have 300 watts of solar on the roof, so I have three 100 watt solar panels. The same panels as the same panels up there. And is it uh, charging strictly off of solar, or do you have like an isolator or something? Yeah, so I have a battery isolator under the hood, so when I uh, turn the ignition on, um, then it starts to charge the batteries in the back because uh, if you don't have one of those switches, this is a pretty common van, van thing, like if you don't have one of those switches then it's just going to run off the battery um, and they're probably going to die. So um, yeah, so then you can't start your van, that sucks. Um, here's some of my, this is like my, this is the engineering corner. I'm not an engineer and I hate like designing things, I just like like using things and like and whatnot. So um, I like building, but I don't like engineering. So I kind of had to engineer this whole thing to work. So um, I knew that I wanted to have a table um, to eat dinner at. So obviously I can sit here and eat dinner, um, but I wanted it. I didn't want it to like restrict the door a bunch. So I had to make this chair uh, on this side slide. So I just put these sliders on the bottom. And so when you pull this out, oh. So when you pull this out, then it extends all the way. Um, so then somebody can sit here and eat with me and it's pretty comfortable. But I also wanted it to be uh, kind of convert really quickly into like a bed or like a chaise or a uh, couch or something. So I have this little system where I take this off the wall. Uh, and then it goes right there, put the chairs together. And it just sits on like these uh, chunks of two by four that I have cut. And then I have this cushion. Ah, I didn't even know about yeah. this. And then it goes right there. And then, um, if you want to see what I look like most of the time I'm in the van, it's generally like this. Oh, look at that. Or I'm like half asleep, generally on my laptop. So if I'm ever emailing you about bike parts, I'm probably sitting right here, like a total slouch, with horrible posture, by the way, and typing away um, and editing video and stuff. So. This is kind of like my, uh, yeah, so I live in it and work in it and it's great, so. So uh, what is one of your favorite parts about your van and what are a couple of things that you would have done differently or you're still gonna do differently? Sure, um, my favorite part is my toilet, which is down here. Um, so the number one question that everybody asks, like when you tell someone that you live in a van, it's like, they f obviously they feel bad for you is first, that's the reaction. And you're like, please don't feel bad for me. But then the second, or and then the uh, second thing is, um, is like, where do you poo? And so it's it's actually not that bad. Like, uh, it, you don't generally have to poo in the middle of the night. Like everyone thinks that you have to poo every night in the middle of the night. Like I don't know what you're eating, but if you have to poo, <laughs> if you have to poo in the middle of the night every single night, then you should definitely see a nutritionist um, or a holistic doctor or something. But anyway, um, it does happen sometimes. This is my favorite part of my van. I hid the toilet right underneath here, um, so you just unhinge it pull it out um yeah there's my toilet yeah exactly <laughs> so um yeah so that's my favorite part and just in case of emergency and you got to poop in the middle of the night there you go you're all done um, i don't know i don't actually actually think i would have changed anything like everything is pretty dialed um i probably would have gone with a bigger water tank just because i have the space for it um other than that i don't i don't know i don't think i'd really change anything honestly so yeah uh, it's pretty good so yeah well, thanks a lot, Mike. Now, uh, so questions uh, for our audience. How can they find you? What's your social media sites? Um, let's see. So uh, the best way to find us is on Instagram. That's at Mr. Lost Bike Shop. 
Um, you can also go to our website if you like need parts or like help with bikes or anything, which is just www.mrloss.com. Because you guys are uh, a mobile, you guys are an online bike shop, a mobile bike shop, and you guys also have a storefront, right? So we used to be a mobile, so we started as a mobile bike shop, and then we had an, a web store that started gaining popularity. And since that became really popular, then we uh, stopped doing the mobile shop and just have a retail like brick and mortar store. So now we just have a brick and mortar store and an online website. So we focus equally on both of those, um, but it's pretty fun doing the online thing. I can send parts all over the world and help people in other countries. So that is super fun. I really like doing that. But, and that's uh, uh, the website for that is? Uh, MrLoss.com. Sweet. Yeah. And then I'll put I'll put the link to all of the stuff in the description of this video. I'll also put the address to his bike shop if you guys want to send him some fan mail. And also you guys can pick up some cool little Mr. Loss Live Gnarly jackets. So... Yeah. Thanks so much, dude. Yeah, we're actually out of these hoodies, and they don't come with the holes in it. You gotta, earn, <laughs> you, gotta you gotta earn the holes. You gotta so, earn the holes. Yeah. So this, yeah, that's yeah. Well, thanks <laughs> so much for the tour, dude. I really can. appreciate it. Yeah. Woo! <laughs>